Well, I'm hoping that my new haircut by my daughter is going to help me with the challenge that is ahead, which is to finish off the last three deck streaks and um, figure out how to effectively fit the individual pieces. So let me take you and update you as to the progress that we have reached. I made up the first piece and, and got it to fit. And and then went back to the bow and worked out um, the, the really the first piece of the second set in this four four piece set. Just to give you some overall rules from this position to the waterway, there are four planks, but of course they vary in width like this one. Um, but the governing rule that I've um, come to realize is that this line here is halfway between this point here and the waterway. So as a rough guide, that's what I've done. The second thing I've come to realize is no matter how much I'm trying to get a straight line on the back of this piece, it still is curving down probably from the forward hatchway um, to the bow and the same thing will happen in the stern um, probably again from the aft hatchway going to the stern in the middle section it should be relatively straight depending on on how these various pieces will fit so we've done I fit the first piece in. I have actually done the second piece. And the good news is both of these are the first pieces I worked with. So now I'm going to make up the third piece. So I'm sticking the first piece, fitting the second piece, fitting the third piece. Once the third piece is fit, I'll come back and stick this piece and then work my way towards the back. And I'm using this little gauge as a starting point of the piece that's going to fit in here. I'm trying to keep the back part of it as straight as possible. The first thing I'm going to do is work out the width at this point of the, um, of the piece. And I'll mark this using the caliper. It's going to fit from the peak here to somewhere where the peak is here. This end is gonna to have to be adjusted. And what we're trying to find out is the maximum width of the piece that's gonna fit in here. So we measure this, and that turns out to be 50 inches. We divide by half, and that brings us to the halfway line. Then we measure this piece here um, and this is at the lowest point, and this is 8 inches. So halfway is 25, so that means the maximum width of this piece is 17. So we're going to take an oversized piece, I would say somewhere between 20 to 25, and then cut this shape out. We've cut eight pieces out, and you may have noticed I'm ticking the surface that I want side up. Um, that's really just to help in the cleanup afterwards, that I don't mind a rough surface sticking onto the framing, but I want as clean a surface on the top. I've cut one piece oversized, and now I'm going to put a line onto the point which is the part where the, the two pieces taper in opposite directions. Remember, we're trying to get straight lines as much as possible to help with the fitting. And now we can take our little angle gauge and place this 
and try and work out the rough angle. We're going to be adjusting it as we go along to get it to fit. I know this is going to get a little confusing. We're trying to establish this line here. Um, we've already determined what the, the thickness is here, which is roughly eight inches above the, the highest point of this plank. This is roughly eight inches. So when we go to make this piece up, what we're doing is trying to establish this as zero. And so we take off eight inches here and that establishes this line. And then we use the gauge to determine the angle here. This one at this side should be approximately eight inches as well. So if you wanted, you could just take eight inches off that line and draw it back to here as a starting point to do the fit. So here is the first trial fit. And to my surprise, it's really not that bad. Um, so we continue to clean up until we get a nice clean line, both on this side and this side. To help with the adjustment, what I do is I'll hold this piece down and move it and realize I have, the angle isn't quite right. So it tells me I have to take a little bit down here, which I'll do with the plane until I have almost no movement. But then I find that I need to flatten this because I'm taking off just a piece here. So this won't be a straight line. And I tend to sand this. So just an aggressive sandpaper. I'm not sure what this is, 120. Just to get a nice flat line. Now you'll also notice that the point has moved from here all over here. So I may have to, if I start running into a problem on this side, I may have to take this down again. So that's what I'm gonna do, keeping it absolutely flat and trying to get this line closer to the original line that I started out with. Okay, now I've got the fit, I think as perfect as I'm gonna get it. One of the challenges um, of marking this piece is finding out exactly where that piece is, and in this case, where that piece is. So the simplest way to do that is to take a pencil and just mark it, and then lightly sand off one side. And what will remain is the exact point at which that square is. So we fit it in and there's no rocking on it. So we can now take it down to that line and square off this piece.
I am very happy with the way this has come out. The first two uh, difficult uh, tapered floorboards. I was able to match the the pieces, uh, the companion pieces, and I've got a nice clean line from the bow all the way down to the stern. So now we're going to tackle the last two pieces um, that's going to take us close and lock off the waterway. Before we um, tackle that, I just thought I would put the, the rule on it. And what it shows is that we get a nice straight line um, to install the last two streaks. But when I put the ruler on the last two streaks, I realized that, um, again, both pieces are tapered as they move around. Um, so we've lost those la nice straight lines that we were fighting up with. You can see the, the taper here. <coughs> and similarly, on this one, it's a very slight taper here. Um, the actual angles, these are still straight lines. And of course, you're going to have a taper along the waterway. So the best way uh, to tackle this is not to do the port and starboard side, but to fit both of them um, on the port side and then do the same thing on the starboard side. So we just have a journey from the bow to the stern. You may or may not notice I have really been struggling to get these lines where we're having a little bit of challenge is where on the previous streak they join and although I tried to make sure this was absolutely flat um, but I've got this one in which is the number three number four is even more challenging and it's just going to take lots of perseverance to get it in place so what we'll do is i'll fit the inside piece going back and forward sanding touching sanding until i get a perfect join and then i'll come and cut the outside piece between the outside edge and the waterway Another technique I've discovered when trying to get this absolutely flat and straight um, is if you press too hard on any particular point of the piece while you're sanding it, it'll tend to sand where the pressure is the most. So to get a nice clean surface, you really need to put no pressure on it at all. Just gently sand and then check and you're gonna end up with a nice, clean, straight line. Here we have the final fit. And I'm really very happy with it. Now we're going to start on the most difficult part of this deck planking and that is closing in, in this case, the port side. And so we're going to fit the first piece. This is going to be trial and error, but my first inkling is to try and get it to fit on the waterway side. Um, because these are relatively straight lines, I've lined it up here and built the curve in. And so now I'll just take the measurements here and cut to suit.
This is the second to last piece, um, probably the hardest piece. Um, I've actually made up three of these. Um, as you all know, it's always the last one that's hardest. Because if it is so close, I'm also watering down the glue. Um, and I'm really only going to stick the edges. So just put the key, the key spots. We've made up the last piece. So we can put that in now. And it's complete. We'll wait for that to dry and then scrape. This is the last piece. So I'm going to cover its placement. So there we have it. Wait for that to dry and it's um, sanding and sealing and then we'll rub down and then we'll paint with some rub on poly. Well, that was quite an exercise. Again, in hindsight, it was much easier than I thought it would be. Um, of the five closeout pieces, it was only the last piece that I actually made three pieces before I got the fit correct. Um, the, the magic ingredient was patience and to make sure that when you, when you didn't make a perfect piece that you threw it away and started again, but again, you can use the last piece as a template to make the, the new piece. So we'll see you in the next video. I'm actually going to be in New York for 2021 Christmas. Um, so I'm meeting some of our colleagues from the New Jersey um, Mothership Society. And um, I'll see you in January in the new year when I get back. Keep modeling.